Welcome again, everybody, to another Shock and Not Toy Reviews. I'm Wilson, joined by... Toast. And in this episode, we are reviewing this spe spectacular toy. What is it? This is uh, Hasbro Transformers Red Beast Wars Cheetor. Boom. Now, for those that don't know, Red stands for... Robot Enhanced Design, I think. Good job. <laughs> but I just wanted to see if you'd had to look at the package again. Um, but these are the line of Transformers that are exclusive to Walmart, correct? I don't think so. Oh, they're not? Maybe. maybe? Well, let's say that they I are. I did buy it from a Walmart. Yeah, I think they're exclusive they, to Walmart. I think the thing is they just don't transform. Yeah. Basically, that's the main yeah. gist of the toy is that they don't transform. So we can take a look. You bought Cheetor. Correct. Um, you're kind of a fan of him. Not a huge Beast Wars fan, but you picked him up. So I remember... Beast Wars a lot better than I remember G1. Yeah. Because I've never rewatched G1. Gotcha. But Beast Wars was was the teenage years. Yeah. So at least the memories are there. There you go. Perfect. Run us through his pain and sculpt. All right. So first things first. This thing just comes off. Okay. So I was wondering. <laughs> it's weird. That's why I asked you if you had to put pieces on them because no. that seems it's loose. It's also gappy up in here. So there's a gap between the cheetah head and robot torso, which is kind of weird. Hmm. I got this guy about a week ago, and at first all of the joints felt gummy, and then I didn't touch them for a week until this morning. Okay. The joints feel a bit better, but they are still... He's got some wobble to him. Yeah, I was wondering. I noticed his things were loose. So the the, the first reaction was... They molded all of the joints out of soft soft plastic instead right. of hard plastic. <laughs> there was just this squishiness to everything. It was yeah. it was very unimpressive right out of the box. <laughs> all right, but I think the sculpt is pretty good. The paint is hit or miss, right? Yeah. So we've got, let's just look at the head. I think the head is actually pretty well painted, pretty well sculpted. There's that gap that I don't understand why they wouldn't just glue it. Mm. I'll show you this because this doesn't happen when the other head is on and crunch. Oh, yeah. This is one of the, the most wobbly. So I think all of the, the cheetah design, all of the yellow transitioning into white, all of the spots, I think all of that looks good. It's the robot parts where we've got paint slop here. We've got one leg where it misses completely. All of this misses oh. the sculpt. Oh. The angle that he's sitting on my desk, this just <laughs> pops out constantly. So there, <laughs> there's just a slight gap between thigh and hip where the paint doesn't line up quite right. And I see it all the time wow. from the back. But it's, it's a mix of, of shiny and matte and the yellow definitely could have used another coat. I don't know. He for twenty bucks, it's okay. Okay. Certainly not a masterpiece. <laughs> no, it's not. We'll move him around. All right. So the head, I'm pretty sure, is on a ball joint. Get typical ball jointedness. Uh, these, the shoulder bits. I'm going to show you this bit here. So you've got the shoulder going into the torso, but this here is a floating separate piece. It's a, it's a little weird. It doesn't hinder anything much. Um, but, but that piece moves to move his arm, right? I think it just covers up. I don't I'm think it does anything. Just covers up the peg? Yeah. Because I noticed when it moved, when I moved one of the arms forward and backwards. Oh, and he's got... So you can see the, the bicep, too. I haven't fixed this. I'm sure some hot water could fix it, but you can see it's tight here. There's a gap here. Bicep swivel. He also has elbow swivel, Ooh. which is weird. Um, single jointed elbow with arm braking technology. Tiny bit of ab crunch when he's got the cat head on. And he arcs back pretty well. Uh, swivel, swivel, hips, uh, thigh swivel. 
no boot cut, but he's got double jointed knees where he can kick his own shoulder. <laughs> so that's something. And then he's got standard Marvel Legends ankles. So the ankles are kind of the best part about him. So he is fairly poseable. Yeah. He's just got a loose bit of loosey goosiness going on, it looks like. A little bit. Yeah. And the I think the wrists might be the worst part, because the hands are a softer plastic and it's Yeah. Uh, doesn't doesn't feel good. <laughs> no, it doesn't. No. Now we're going to take a look at what he comes with. It's actually a, kind of a decent amount for a $20 figure. So I believe he came with a fist, which I immediately swapped out for one of the posing hands. Um, right out of the box. But he's got two trigger finger hands, one already on him, another one here. Uh, fist. Two fists. Just molded plastic, no paint, and then the other posing hand. It's kind of a cat hands. Gun, same sort of paint. Again, the, the patterning is, I think, the best part. And some effects that plug in. This one's looking kind of limp there. Troopy, yep. Troop Magoo. Droop. But both of these can plug in. And your big boy. Whichever sort of effect you want. And there's a piece of Energon. Energon crystals. Which looks pretty good. Actually does. It's a nice little piece. Yeah. So it's a pretty decent amount of accessories. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's more than some Marvel Legends get, so... For sure. So, for size comparison, we have him next to the Dead Universe Optimus Prime's leader class. <laughs> we have him next to Iron Factory Tarn and MMC Rodimus Prime. So, he's a good six inches, almost, probably more like five and a half, I don't know. I think he's about, he's, he's about a Marvel Legends size, yeah. which we don't have. Yep. Yep. About that size. About that size. All right, I'm going to go. I'm giving this guy a two out of five hammers. Um, I'm not as impressed as I wanted to be with this red line, at least with this figure. I haven't touched any others. Uh, the gumminess of the joints is a problem mixed with the loose, loosey-goosey of the joints. Like the, A lot of the joints are loose and not up to snuff. Um, I like the amount of accessories that you get with them, and I think overall he looks pretty good. But also, you know, for that price, you can get the one that transforms that's maybe has less, but you're actually getting a transformer. I don't know. There's the fact that they've chosen characters that we can already get that transform is a little strange to me. I would have liked to see this line include, you know, like I kind of like the Prime RC idea because that we haven't seen, I don't think we're going to see it a toy of that character or that version of that character anytime soon. Yeah, the Cheetor is a mixed bag, but I'm giving it a two. And I'm also not a Cheetor fan. That's fair. I mean, he really bothers the shit out of him. He's like the, beast, the Bumblebee of Beast Wars. He really is. It's not that great. I would, I would save the money and get something else. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Uh, All right. I'm going to go three out of five hammers. Uh, I was I was curious about the red line, not at all interested in the first wave of Optimus, Megatron, and Starscream. But they announced a Cheetor, and the thing about Beast Wars is either the robot mode or the animal mode looks terrible. That's kind of true. So I'm like, I can at least get a good-looking robot yeah. for 20 bucks, And I I think this is better than the than the current Cheetors that do transform. Okay. So... For 20 bucks, it's an interesting experiment. I don't know if I'm going any further with this. I'd probably get a Tigertron. Okay. If they release one. Sure. In red, because I, I do like Tigertron more than Cheetor. Um, but I, it's it's good enough. It is a fine toy for 20 bucks. <laughs> it's certainly not good. Um, it's not altogether terrible. And I think a large part of that is good ankles yeah because 
you can put him into a pose and he'll hold it. I wasn't sure he'd he'd hold up his <laughs> arm with that effect on. I I was doubting it too. I don't think he'd hold the big one. Maybe not. Maybe not long term. No. Yeah. But with with decent ankles, he'll hold a pose. That's true. You have a point. You have a good point. So he's he's fine. Not fine. great. Not great. All right. Well, that's been it for this review. Let us know in the comments below what you think. Uh, Give it a thumbs up. Give the video a thumbs down if you so wish. But please give it a thumbs up. And uh, like and subscribe to the channel. Give us any thoughts of anything you'd like to see reviewed. Maybe we'll try and review it. All the social media stuff is in the show notes. And until next time, say bye. Hey, big bye.